for our Baptist Church is going to be our World Mission Collection. And uh, this year, I want to tell you the good, really good news first. There has a group that has agreed to double all the money that we collect. And so that gives us a, a little incentive to, uh, to give all we can. Um, I've been encouraged to read a letter from the executive director of our world mission. And after that, I'll explain it a little bit more. Greeting in the names of the name of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Salt, as ordinary and plentiful as it is, possesses a very special and unique power when added to foods. Unlike any other seasoning, salt unlocks the subtle flavors, enhancing and bringing new sensations to our taste buds. When the Lord says to his followers, you are the salt of the earth, he is urging them to go into the whole world and enhance the good that he is doing so others can be touched by the power of the saving grace of God. As followers of Christ, our congregations are the salt of the earth, seasoned with the love of the gospel and called to carry the love to all the earth. The World Mission off Offering Season, we are focusing on three mission priorities, health and wellness, abolishing global slavery, and economic and community development. While this does not include all the ministries of international ministries, these serve to illustrate some of what God is doing worldwide throughout our 120 global servants. Please join me in praying for the global servants and in giving sacrificially and generously to the World Mission Offering as the Lord Jesus gives to us. Um, one of my favorite uh, uh, Christian rock songs right now is one where the singer tells about all the many of the unpleasant things going on in our world and then he looks up to God and he says God why don't you do something and God speaks back to him and says I did I created you and that's what as I as I read um, some of the material that I thought about all of us here in Cordova feel like what can we really do to help people in other, in other parts of the world. And as Baptists, we're given the opportunity in the month of September to um, give what we can to world missions so that other people can help. But there's also another thing that all of us can do anywhere that we are, and that's to um, pray for our missionaries, pray for all the projects that we're working on, so after I finish speaking today, I've given Mike um, a copy. They sent 60 poems, that, that poems, not poems, prayers, 60 uh, kind of two-sentence prayers that they would like all of us to pray for the next 60 days. So not only do we have the opportunity to um, uh, contribute to our missionaries, but we also um, can pray for our missionaries, which would make a major difference to so many. So I encourage you to do that. If you'd like a box for your collection, we have some down here in front. And for the next uh, three weeks, we have um, very good short videos that we'll be watching to show you some of the ministries. So thank you.
come now to give up our gifts for the benefit of the blessing here in Cordova administering, as well as we heard from Becky this morning to the other most parts of the world. People need our help. More importantly, they need God's help. Let your offering be given to that use. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we just want to thank you and ask you to be with us now as we give unto you. Bless this offering and use it to multiply and take care of the needs of so many people. And hopefully, not only their needs, but that they may know you as well. In Jesus' name.
worship hours this morning, trying something new. Um, hopefully the right people attend the right service. <laughs> Maybe both. Um, but please pray for our sister church in Oak Park. If there's nothing else, let us pray. Lord, we want to thank you for this day and opportunity to give joy. Give joy back to you. You put children in our lives to bring us joy, but then you call us to accept you as a child. Help us to not stifle our inner child, but live by faith in you. We pray for those who are on our prayer list. We think of Charlene as she is going to have this procedure this week. And we think of the families of Jerry and Will. Help them during their time of grieving. Comfort them with your spirit and presence. And let us as a church family be what we're talking about this week. Missionaries. It's not those who go to the foreign fields. That's part of it, yes. But you called us all. Help us to be missionaries to our neighbors here. And then be the missionaries overseas. By blessing the offerings we give so that others can go in our stead. And dear Lord, be with our youth this morning. In Christ's name, we pray your prayer that you led your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Would you now pull out your bolts and insert as we sing, For God so loved the world? Sorry. 
Yes, well, this is all very nice, but really now, now a few million creatures for the, for the sea and a few million for the dry land. Creatures, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. All right, Angel, but make a snack. I'm not a tight schedule here. I've only got six days of five days. Well, first of all, it's about your list of creatures. Yes. Well, you've been good in pleasing kids. Yeah, there is. Well, the animals aren't going to like them. <laughs> it's a joke. A joke. <laughs> yeah, wait till you see what a dog does to get rid of them. And now the creatures are for the party. That's not all. What is it now? It's about the last two creatures on our list, the human beings. Yeah, I'm making them my own. What is this? Well, it says here on the specification that you're going to give them a free will. Do you know what that means? It's a new tomato. They will eat the tomato, they will go ahead and eat it. Do you know that they're going to disobey you, but you're going to give them a free will anyways? Or why not? If I knew my creations would disobey me, I'd die. I'd just die. I will. Thank you. 
feeling like Karen and I are not equipped. Actually, Karen is, I act like a kid, so I need her assistance there. But what the message does that send? Those parents and those kids felt rejected. Felt that they weren't unimportant by the church at that time, which was basically the disciples. But Jesus said, no. Bring them. You must come as that little child. Have that faith. Have that joy. Guys, here. I know you weren't expecting this, but I, I'm going to do like Jesus did. He just hugged them all up. Now, James is dead because he can't breathe because of his chest. He got to be resuscitating. We got a headache right here. Bring him back to life, would you? But.